The last official update on the Fallout TV show was around the Fallout 25th anniversary, and even then, we barely got a look at the show. We see one of the showrunners in front of a desolate and destroyed set that seems to be located in the desert, which is a pretty big clue as to the location of this show, but also kind of describes half of the locations we find in the Fallout games. And the showrunner is handed a Nuka Cola by a Power Armor arm. Power Armor and Nuka Cola confirmed. Again, not really a huge reveal. And although not many details about this show have been shared officially, I mean, we literally just have this clip and one other picture to go off of, the Fallout TV show has been getting some very big and very noteworthy leaks as of late. This being leaked set photos or even fan images being taken of some of these sets, and some of the reveals here are genuinely quite large and give us a good idea of what to expect. One of the biggest happenings with the Fallout TV show as of late is it does appear to have wrapped filming. It seems like this happened just a couple of weeks ago early in 2023. There was a filming pause at the end of 2022, and there are a few clues that filming has wrapped. We see this printout, which technically is just a printout, although being associated with other leaked pictures on its own, this technically could be faked. But we also did have a now deleted Instagram post that was reportedly from the rap party and taken by one of the people who worked on the show, as well as this image of a Vault 33 jacket as a gift. Reportedly, these Vault 33 jackets were given out as gifts to people who worked on the show. Vault 33 is a location in the Fallout TV show. We've already seen that from other leaks. So just right off the bat, as we dive into this video, if you are excited for the Fallout TV show, the fact that it has just recently wrapped filming is actually really good news. That means there is a very realistic shot that we can see this show releasing in 2023, perhaps a trailer over the summer, maybe even around E3 we get a trailer, and then an actual release of the show in Q3 or Q4 of the year. But as far as the actual set photos, one of the most exciting ones we got recently was the interior of a vertibird. This features the whole nine yards, a mounted minigun controls off to the side, but also a ton of standing space in the center, which very likely could be for the Brotherhood of Steel members. Via some of the past leaks, we get a look at a set of power armor, and on that power armor, you actually do have a Brotherhood of Steel knight insignia. So connecting those dots, I think there's a pretty good chance this Vertibird is going to be associated or really just owned and operated by the Brotherhood of Steel, although separately from some other set photos we have seen, some very interesting looking characters that definitely could be the Enclave. So alternatively, it could be an Enclave Vertibird. The other big category of set images are fans taking pictures and videos of this red rocket set. We've had some pretty public sets for the show in the past. You probably remember all of these images from the set in the absolutely disgusting place of Staten Island, New York, as well as there are several other filming locations confirmed to be around New York. And that's going to continue here with this red rocket. This red rocket's actually in Nyack, New York, and you can even see some of the older photos when it was a gas station to the now converted red rocket, which is pretty cool. The set itself looks great. It's a very faithful recreation, even down to the gas prices being exactly the same as the prices we saw in Fallout 4. Beyond that, you can see the power armor crafting station in the background. And funny enough, that is one of the things that has got me the most hyped. I don't know why, but just seeing the power armor crafting station remade for real life just looks really cool. It actually is pretty exciting to me. But what is even cooler is dog meat can also be seen. Unless it's not, I mean, it would be a pretty big coincidence if somebody just happened to bring their dog to the set of the Fallout TV show and it just happened to be the exact same breed as dog meat. So I think it is pretty likely that dog meat is going to be in the Fallout TV show. Doug Mead has now appeared in numerous Fallout games, so it would make sense for him to pop up in the TV show, even if it's just a brief cameo. But of course, the notable connection here is in Fallout 4, you actually get Doug Mead at a Red Rocket. So perhaps they are creating a similar scene in the TV show as a nod to the video game. Although another clip that is floating around is this big Nuka Cola truck. This looks awesome, very Mad Max esque, but an FYI, this actually isn't part of the Fallout TV show. I've seen this misattributed several times, and this is actually just a fan made Nuka Cola truck. Which to me, in a way, honestly makes it far cooler that some fan just decided, yeah, I'm gonna make this. But another batch of set photos we do have is from Vault 33. We've seen Vault 33 before, we've actually seen both Vault 32 and Vault 33 before, but this time around we definitely got far more revealing photos of this set. It seems like this is going to be a new interior shot of the vault. Originally I actually thought this was going to be a shot of the vault door, but we have in fact already seen the vault door from the officially released teaser image, so I suspect this new photo is just going to be a big circular archway that is within the vault, as well as just a simple photo of a vault button and some rubble behind it. Perhaps this is a clue that there's some kind of destruction at Vault 33, or at least some vault at some point. We get a look at a bunch of vault dwellers hanging around, seemingly waiting to shoot their scene. We've actually seen several
several set photos now of vault dwellers doing various things, and a lot of set photos of vaults in general. Considering many of these photos are taken months apart, I do have a feeling that vaults are going to be a pretty big part of this show. Initially, some of the speculation was it just opens with some vault dwellers, but it really looks like this is going to be a core aspect and something that is recurrent. And perhaps even a bit more evidence for that is this cue card for an atrium scene titled Ritual B. I do have a feeling this could be associated with whatever vault experiment is going on at Vault 33. It's a totally new vault in the Fallout lore, so there's nothing for us to really go off of. And we could even see a Pip-Boy that some people have said looks a bit rough to them. One of the curious parts about this Pip-Boy is how game accurate it actually is. Every single tab on the Pip-Boy is accurate to Fallout 4, and it even has a level on it. Which makes you wonder, will there be gamified aspects of the Fallout TV show to kind of tie in or just be related to the video game? How does a character in a TV show have a level? Although perhaps this is just a placeholder, or even just a background Pip-Boy and not really going to be a big focus. So perhaps they're just reusing the UI from the video game as opposed to creating a completely new one. We see the scene between two actors, one of them holding a vault lunchbox as well as another one holding a laser rifle that does look pretty great. It's a pretty interesting scene. It's clearly taking place in Vault 33, but otherwise it's really hard to discern what's going on here. It's not obvious who either of these actors are or really what the scene is all about, but what has been the single most revealing image from all of these leaks is this picture. Another interior vault shot that does have the pretty big reveal of an NCR flag being inside of the vault. So this NCR flag being here alone confirms several things. One, that Vault 33 is on the west coast of the United States, unless this is set later in the Fallout franchise and the NCR has extended to the east coast also, but it seems like the safe bet is that this vault is on the west coast and the show will at least partially take place on the west coast, but also this means that the vault has opened. The NCR isn't formed within a vault as far as we can tell, unless there's major retcons. So this is an active vault that had NCR members enter into it and at some point actually plant a flag within the vault. A bunch of vault dwellers being aligned with the NCR is definitely an interesting choice. But considering we have also seen several other factions, perhaps there are serious conflicts happening here. In the Fallout lore, the NCR and Brotherhood of Steel have had major conflicts. Perhaps that's going to be one of the major things happening during this show. Or maybe just competing factions in general will be something that is handled and looked at quite closely. Overall, I have a few takeaways from all of these various leaks. Just in general, it definitely looks like they're doing a lot of practical effects for this show, which does get me excited. Things like power armor, or even Pip-Boys, definitely could have been CGI, but they're clearly making a choice and decisions to not do that, to have it be practical. At this point, I've seen almost all of these set photos to leak and even have been sent a variety that I was told not to share publicly. In all of these photos, you don't actually see any indication of CGI being needed or used. What you see in these scenes is complete. I don't really see any indications of CGI being needed in any major way. Way. But of course, also the setting being on the west coast. Immediately, many fans were kind of concerned around this, but as the game studios themselves do have a role in making this show and likely in the story, but as to having their hands on the west coast lore has definitely gotten some fans concerned. But considering we've also seen several filming locations in New York, and not only New York, but in New York City specifically, does make me wonder if this show will have multiple different perspectives. Like you'll be following one plot line on the west coast, another plot line on the east coast, and perhaps they intersect or just look at two different things. Maybe the west coast is a bunch of vault dwellers, while on the east coast you have more people just venturing around outdoors, really exploring the wasteland and seeing what has happened to the world. But the other major takeaway I have from all of this is, I'm excited. From all the set photos we've had thus far, everything looks ridiculously accurate to the video games. It's not like they're taking many creative liberties or changing things here, even down to dog meat being the exact same dog. Many of these sets look like they've been ripped straight out of the video games, that's definitely a great sign for me. And even this quote from one of the showrunners does make me feel like we're in pretty good hands. Yeah, how, did you, how did you get involved? Well, several years ago I decided I was gonna write the next great American novel. And then a friend gave me a copy of Fallout 3, and now I'm working in television. 